two, one, we're rolling, okay. Mr. Morgan, it's a pleasure to be here today. If we could start the interview, if you could give me uh, the date of birth, well, give me, say your, fir your full name, the date of birth, and the birthplace. Okay, I was born with the name Yitzchak Efroim. In Yiddish, I was called Yitzchak Fischl. In Poland, they say this Efroim Fischl is the same thing. I was born on um, August the 28, 1922, in a town which was very famous in, in Poland with the name Radomsko. Tell me a little bit about Radomsko. But Radomsko was famous really with two, two things. First, the religious part, and then the, the working part. The religious part was Radomsk famous because on account of the Radomske Hasidic dynasty, the Tver Shloyme, the Heizet Lavrun, the Knesset Cheskel, they're all laid there in oil in Radomsk, and the Besfuris wasn't destroyed. The last Rebbe was unfortunately shot in the Warsaw Ghetto, which he was hiding. And they, they lick uh, the coating. Tell me a little bit about it. You're speaking about the Rebbe Menachem Danziger. No. Danziger has had quite... I, this, I was raised in a ha, Alexander Hasidic house. So the, the Alexander Rebbe I saw quite a few times. Firstly, when they normally, summertime, they went for Dutch, went to Czechoslovakia, to Marienbad, and it, it was, and when, when they wake, came from, Alexander was a suburb from Lodz, from the second city, the biggest city in Poland, a suburb. When the, the line, the train, when it went to Czechoslovakia, has to go through the line from the Redomsk. So the train always in the biggest cities, the train stopped, and all Hasidim came, the rabbi was staying by the window, and everyone held the hand out, and everyone came to take shooting. The train stopped about 10 minutes, and it, and it was a few thousand people, so they had to go move fast, fast, one after the other, to give shooting, and that's it. Then I saw the, the, the Redomsky rabbi, I saw in a different place, I was twice in Pesach in Alexander. Once when I was 12 and a half years old, and once when I was 30 years old. For Pesach, normally, the old, the, the, somebody which have a family home didn't leave, leave the house and go away to the Rebbe. The, the Rebbe went only the older people which didn't have any family or it, or the Bukhrim, the youngsters. Alexander has Pesach, approximately 5,000 Bukhrim there. It's impossible to describe what went on. The whole city was there. Was Alexander with the Chassidim. The Aksanis and everything we did set at them. So, <laughs> and my father trusted the bigger Bukhrim from Stiebel, from Alexander Stiebel, which was already 20, 22, 3 years old. They should take care of me after all about that 12 years. Child was, said, Don't worry about it, we're going to take care of him. Okay, a fact is later on, I took care of them and they will come to me. So, first of all, we came in, out of Pesach, with, with the bus, we went to Lodge. From Lodge, we took the street train, the tramway, what it cost in Cotton Poland. It took about 35, 5, 40 minutes, and we were on Alexander. We came in there, they showed us where we're going to stay, we put a bed, whatever a package we have there, and we went to get Shulim to the Rebbe. The Rebbe stayed by the, his house right near the Bismedrish, and Bismedrish was a short black long. Huge, huge. And his house, his house was right nearby. So we came out, stayed by, by the door, and each one went and get Shulim. Well, time to waste, as is it, thousands of people is. So, then, we address whatever it is, and we went to the Besmedrish. After Marev, the Rebbe went out, back to this house, and we, no, in the middle of the day, 
in Bismedrish, we start already to secure a place, what to see when the Seder goes on. If a thousand people, we have to have a place. I found, I remember the first year I found a place, you see, in the barrack, in the, in the Bismedrish, was poles, poles. It was a wooden Bismedrish, in poles, big, four square wooden poles, and it was knocked in like big nails, heavy nails. So I creeped up on one, it stood so higher, and with the girdle was tied to the pole. This was my place. The second, the second to, at the time I go, didn't have a chance anymore, because another one caught it before. But anyhow, the rabbi came into the back to the cider, came in. Everything was packed, but the chamis called out, the rabbi is coming. So all of a sudden it, it was empty, <laughs> a place to let him go through. He came in in white, dressed in white completely, with the car, the silver car on his hand. He walked to the front, this, a long table was staying. The older people, which came with me, called the Toshvan. There was sometimes they sitting there weeks and months. But oh, there, there was what came, they were sitting on the benches. And we, the youngsters, were all hanging around, staying around. So he went to the front, the front, sat down in the front, the two sons he has on both sides, and all from the family. The, 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 the son-in-laws with this was around them. And we started to say that. First of all, he spoke about uh, ten minutes he spoke. And then he made Kiddish. And then we start with the Seder. It was special people which gave everything what we have to, after the Kiddish to, 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 to taste from the Fenditis. So it was organized. It excellent was the organization was so excellent from Bukhrim, from Bukhrim, which was trained to know what to do. And they, they, they gave the people around the this is what, what we have to, to, to taste at that time. You know, they, 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 this is the carpets and this, the always ask this, this, this. Then we start with Agude. Okay. Agude took time because on every part there we spoke and explained and everything. When it came to Shilchan Orech, when it was part in the middle, so eating, there we left the Bismedrish to his house. And here they start serving, this man, serving. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, the, the waiters is still staying in this, on, on the table, because it was full with silver. Like it is cantalabra staying in this, they moved it a little bit, this, it's a wet in the side. Not move it, but but it, it, with, with the feet they, they have to move it away. But they should be able to stay higher and to give the people out to us. And that then came in the, the people came in the the, the, the service with the plotters. Mine Redomska Hevra, I told you stay near here me, because I was on the top. When they came with the plotters, I just took off. One plotter here, one plotter there, and that's it. And I fed him, they, they, they didn't start there. <laughs> so that's what I meant when I said, I'm going to, I took care of them. Okay. But whatever it took when we finished with, with reading, the rabbi came back. This. And we considered that the, the God said also with singing, with everything, what, what, what has to come, but singing was so much with the, 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 the part from this is. Alexander Negini met him when we finished the say there, the rabbi left about, I don't know, I don't remember or it, it was one, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, I don't remember this. So every, all the, 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 the youngsters, the, the, the Bukhrim, 
went after the Rebbe. He went into this house. He started dancing in the big yard in front. Dancing for an hour, period. For an hour dancing and singing. Then the rabbi came out and said, Good yontif. But the moment he said, Good yontif, he knew that stopped. He goes to sleep. We went into the Bismedrish. We didn't go to sleep. Some, maybe apart, went to the, with the Aksanias where they, they were supposed to stay there and they lay down for a few hours. But the majority went back to the Bismedrish and started dancing until 9 o'clock in the morning, until the Rebbe came into Chakras, period. If, if, let's say, a few hundred danced, they got tired, they sat down, and the next got up. It was one after the other. There is this young people, what do they do? Okay. Davening, every Hasidic rabbi has a composer which made the Neginim twice a year for Pesach and for Rosh Hashunah. Some of them from the Hasidic rabbis were composers themselves. For example, Babav, Belz, Mojit, they composed their own Neginim, the rabbis. Those which didn't know how, they got composers. Ger didn't have, but they have a composer with the name Yaakov Talmud. He survived the war and left in Israel after death, after the war. Alexander didn't have, so they got from Lodz, Getzelo. Nice, Mr. Mensch with a nice little beard, it was beautiful, this is, this. and he, he, he got his choir, with a choir for Yeshiva Bukhrim. And, and he studied with them, then they gave him a whole Rishoydish Eddie. Before the Rosh Hashanah, or the ganzen Chodesh Nissen, a Chodesh before, this is. And you should have heard there this, what went down to singing there. And when I left Redomsk, they in Stiebel, they told me, it's like, oh, you better bring home the Neginim. But they could depend on me. I got a good Tfisa and a good Zekulim. I took a fest and I didn't forget. When I came home, I started studying with the Bechir in, in the Redomsk, in Stiebel. And I walked two weeks, we were singing all the new Neginim. Came Rosh Hashunah, Rosh Hashunah was never there. But with the Neginim, we came under what, what we heard the Neginim. So this, what, this is Alexander. Now, one port, what I'm very important from Alexander, remember what I saw. Normally, they went like they say, for Dutch, they say for summertime to Czechoslovakia in the Bay Day. Marienbad, they say it. In the middle, that it was, I think this was 1936. 11 kilometers from the Redomsk was a little, like a big village. Kamisk was they called. In Yiddish, we called it Kletno. There was a tremendous wall of, of vault. A food, which was the the babuis was Alexander Husit. It was bungalow there also in in the woods, but people they rented it for the summer. This summer, the Alexander Rebbe came. He was staying there for for what, two months, please. You should have seen every Shabbos was Amar there. From all over they came. Happened once. My mother, away showing, had, had, had a, a growth here from the throat, a big growth, and the doctors in the redom says we have to operate because it's full of pores. My father says operation and we be talking in the middle of the toilets. It was a, an operation, it was already a, a major thing. This. My father says, no, the rabbi is, is 11 kilometers away from here. I have to go and ask him. So I went along. We walked. 
11 kilometers because unfortunately my father couldn't afford to go and, and, and hire a coach. You know, the Droshki, what we call the resources. So it is, we, we left early in the morning and we walked out in the middle of the week because Shabbos, Shabbos was, was uh, Shabbos I was with the Bukharim when we walked out there a few times to, during the summer. But this time was in the middle of the week. Came in, when the, the time came when the rabbi picked up with the tzedim, with, 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 with each one as another item with, with, which you want to discuss with the rabbi, or the rabbi, or the water, whatever it is. The shamans wrote out this quittle, you know, before you go into the wrote out what, what the question is, what would we want to this. And my father took the quittle and we went into the rabbi's room. The rabbi was sitting in the top, didn't give the quittle, the rabbi, to the hand. We put it down right in the front of him. And, and the rabbi picked up the quittle and looked and looked and looked a few minutes. I don't remember. It looked me as so long, but, but it probably wasn't more than three, four minutes. But, but we were staying because this is this. And then he got up and gave my father the hand, Ramesh David, food is in the height, and that's for Schnaden. The Ramesh Shnaden can help him ungeschnitten. That's it. That's what the answer was. And we took his and we walked out backwards, you know, the way from the house, not with this. That's it. This what of this is what what for Alexander Rebbit. What happened? The same night it opened by itself. And this is not a story. I saw it. I was there. It opened up and the stuff the, the, the toes start the, the post started going out. So we got a, 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 a nurse who came in and she, she cleaned it out of it and that's it. It went away. Tell me, um Tell me, Rabbi Yitzchak, about your your family, your your siblings, and uh, and, how many, and how many survived? Father and mother. I had two sisters. One sister, Esther, which was a year younger for me. The other sister was, or Sur of Heidi of Heidi Sur. I don't remember, but she was approximately four or five years younger than me. And then we got a little brother, which was born in 1930. 1930, and unfortunately he passed away by when he was two years old. He got sick, something, and, and it wasn't the apparatus, the, 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 the medications was, was, if America had more, but, but in Europe, but much less. He passed away. So nobody survived from our family. Not, not only our family, but the the, this grandfather, what I'm what saying mean is, he passed away in 1935. So, but the rest family, the grandparents, this grandparents from my father's, mother's side had ten children. Nine daughters and one son. One daughter and one son passed away before even I was born. But eight, eight were, la were, were living until Unfortunately, they, they, they passed away in, in Treblinka with the children, with everything. Nothing from the family left. A second cousin, two second cousins, but that's what it's, that's from the from family. I was left alone. Tell me about your education in uh, Dredomsk. Uh, education, in by 40 years old, I, I started to go the Heide. The, the, the Rebbe was Rebbe Getzel, with teachers, the Ivory, you know, the Olive Vines in the Davening, in, in uh, the, the, the Chemish, the beginning from the Chemish. By him, I was, I was approximately uh, three years under his control. I remember when I came home, and, and my father, Chavez, always listened to me. 
loud, he says. I want to hear what you're saying. <laughs> and when I start happening a little bit, they said, uh-uh, every word clear. If you're not going to learn now, you're not going to know it. Those strict words. He was an excellent, one of the best patrillers in town. People came to hear him, and he done missive in Alexander Stiebel, and in the missive took four hours on missive Alexander Stiebel for him keeping. When he went away from Umid, you could the towels in the kittle in the in, in the southern Yibitz, everything was wet. In the Miss Medrish, in, 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 in the, the shield, whenever they were finished already from, 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 from probably an hour and a half before, they came in the yard from Alexander Stiebel listening to the Moshe Duvid Zoom the Voidel in Kippen. We got also acquired from the Yeshiva Bochum, which we trained in a whole day with Swedish Eli. The Neginim, Neginim, Alexander Neginim, we sang this, ah boy, it was something to hear. And, 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 and I will tell you one thing, the Rishi Burk Hashem, I got from my father, I, I got a, a strong voice, he was a strong voice, was so beautiful, and, and I got also a strong voice since a kid, I had a strong voice. I was about 30 here for 60 years, in, in 50 years in Brooklyn, 50 years in Brooklyn, in, in the beginning here when I came over, I was here still, a few years, about two in the year. Not for pain, because it wasn't a question of pain, but my business. Tell me about your experience of uh, anti Semitism in Rodomsk. Oh, the anti Semitism in Poland. The former Prime Minister from Israel, Menachem Begin, said once a good word. He was a, a Polish Jew, which was it also saved. It is, uh, the, uh, it went through the Holocaust and saved through Russia. He said, the Polacan says they soaked in their anti-Semitism right with their mother's milk. And he was so right. Especially in the late 30s. We knew exactly everything to the radio, it wasn't any television at that time, and to radio, to the papers, the Jewish papers, we know everything what going on in Germany. What, what happened in Germany with, with the Jews, how they, what was this, with the concentration camp, we knew everything, what's going on. So, we heard, we heard when, when he, he occupied uh, Austria, we heard, occupied uh, uh, Czechoslovakia, we knew everything. And then, when he was finished with, 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 with uh, Czechoslovakia, he started raving about on the radio about Poland. Apart from Poland, this was his, his, the same like in Czechoslovakia, he said, but it's a dead land. Apart from Poland, Nazi, but the Baltic is, this belongs to Germany, he says. If we want it back, reaching of on the television like a, 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 a madman. And I'm asking his stimmel he had. Describe the, uh, the time, please, leading up to the occupation. Um, and the movement into the Radomsko ghetto, leading up to the occupation. The last few months was that the air was so heavy, so worried there, because we knew, we felt that that's because something that happened is going to happen. We hope not a war, but it, it's 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 it was so 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 so. It was so scary to hear everything, what, what goes. Poland, about weeks already before the, the, the occupation, Poland started mobilizing already. What could they do this? Poland was, the, the Polish army was trained on, on horses. The, 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 their cavalry was the, 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 the main, the, this, this. I, I, I can compare it to the, the motorized, the motorized uh, uh, German army. When they came in, not one soldier was walking. Everything was on, on the machines. Trucks, jeeps, everything, everything. No, no walking by them. 
the war broke out and September the 1st was a Friday morning. We were sleeping around 5 o'clock, no, it was closer to 6, all of a sudden an explosion which woke up the whole city. We didn't know what's happened. Five o'clock, he it, 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 it said that at the end, uh, there is, that he is going to war with Poland. And, and but but if, it, 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 but but uh, a half a five, was shot, they start bombing already. The, the the army didn't leave even the the, the border, and the the planes bombed already the, the cities in Poland. What did they bump in, in my and I was in town? Before the war was a big city, a the factory there, the metallurgy was called, which produced for the farmers all the kylin what the car the farmers needed. We didn't know. It was a, a secret. We didn't know that three years before the war they switched over to armament. We didn't know. The Germans knew. And they did the factory the first thing. And so some people, most Poles were working there. But, but then they threw a few bombs in the city also. This was a beginning. In the middle of the day, Friday, they bombed again the city. The terror was already, we didn't know what to do. Saturday morning, the, 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 the uh, chief from the, the, the city, the Polish, Announced on the radio, we should leave the city because they're going to bomb the city completely. I don't know that they probably knew what what was, and and they knew. A middle, everyone started running out from the city. They they rode to Przedbusz. This was a, a town about about twenty miles away. Out from from the Redonsk. the road was full. Carriages and wagons with horses in schlepp How much could you carry? But everything was out from the city. Twelve o'clock, they came in. We were out of the city already. They came in and destroyed the center from the city, the marketplace, which was called, which normally was, I would say, 90, 95% Yiddish. The stores and everything was completely destroyed. And then the Stuka, the, the, the fighter planes, came on down on the road and with machine guns. They killed so many people. They just flew, not at civilians. The, the main problem was they, what they wanted to see, the terror between the population. And we ran, we ran, we ran, we came, before Przedbusz was, was a big river was, the Varta was called, was the bridge. We came to, no, near, near to the bridge, was staying a tank on the bridge, without any sign who the tank is. And soldiers stayed in the front with the guns, without any sign. We didn't know who they are. People <laughs> said that it must be the English people, the English army. That is because England said before the war that they're going to take care. They, they, got the, you know, we, England, the French made made it. They, they do. They, they're going to, they're going to they, 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 be with Poland. Those two, join. It was a German tank. They came from the other side around. Poland was sold out from inside completely, period. They came with maps, they knew every little thing. They knew every, where the Jews lived, they knew, they, they go with names from the Communist Party, which was, it is to, they knew everything. A fact is the first thing when they came in, the, the first day they started, they just start, first of all, the terror with the Jews, that's what the first thing. Then a day two, a few days later, they, they picked up all the land around with a list in, in the houses the, the communists to pick up, who belonged to the communist party. If it wasn't the, the name there, they took any, any man which was in the house. They didn't care. And, and took him away. We never saw him. 
They did be find out, they took him to Auschwitz because they started building Auschwitz right in the beginning from 40. They started building Auschwitz already, preparing the big, the big use. The first two days was Sunday, Sunday we start, yeah, in, in the soldiers were staying on the bridge, only one word there was, Zurich, go back, go back, go back. We start going back. We couldn't cross anyhow. We start going back. We came back. Sunday, we came back. A horrible. Destroyed. Came back. We came back in the street where we live. This is the street which, which led, led uh, to Fredbush out. So the whole mess came trick in that side. Our town. Our house was not destroyed, was staying because it was a little further down from the, the, the marketplace. <laughs> what can I tell you? What, what, what was this terror? What was tell, that? Tell, tell me a little bit, uh, Mr. Vargan, tell me a little bit about the uh, Radomsk ghetto. The ghetto in the Radomsk was. They said that's what the first in, in, in Poland. Right in December from 1939, the chief commander of, from the, the, the town was one with the name Rotter. Then was the chief from the gendarmerie was Kempenik. The chief from the Gestapo was Fichtner. So, so, this before they before before the ghetto started they they, 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 they uh, about a few days uh, a week later they, they, when they came in they called up the the readers from from the from the before from the kelo mm. they have to make a judenrat but then what not the kelo the judenrat okay they should come organize the judenrat and what what is it they gave the orders. The Judenrat had to do the, their, what they ordered. That's it. That's what the question. Every day came new orders. Every day by day. You're not allowed to try, ride on the train. You're not allowed to go to the park. You're not allowed to, 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 to go swimming. You're not allowed to go to the movie. You're not allowed to the theater. You don't, you don't, they close up the mikvah. They close up the, 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 the bismedrish. Close up course. They close up the shul. Everything, period. You know, it was a curfew right away. From, 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 in the beginning was it from in, in eight or nine in the morning until five or until seven. But the polls was open from six till, till, till uh, nine in the evening by the polls. But it, the polls were living also around with, with together, you know what I mean, the reasons. Then, then we got the let, it, it, it came the order about about um, a month later or, 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 or six weeks later came the order from the yellow straps with, with the, 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 the this was three colors was it was yellow it was violet it was red yellow was those which has from 15 to 60 go to work cleaning up everything in the winter was a mess on the, on the roads in Poland the winters was tough the, the, the snow was laying this is and we have to go and clean the the, 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 the snow on the, the, the roads. The violet was those which were free, completely from work. Let's say the Judenrat, the doctors, the, the police, what they organized was is this what what, what free, free from work. The red ones was the those which 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 didn't have they can't work a whole day, so though they, they work a half a day in that time. This 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 was the first the beginning. The ghetto start right in December. Can the order to the Udenrat? One day they gave us from the whole town where the Jews, the Jews lived had to get out. And they gave right away the 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 the, the, the shaitach from the from the, the ghetto, which streets streets they they put in in the ghetto. 
everything. And if anyone is going to be left, he's going to be shot. Every, and every order was, if you're not released, he's going to be shot. And your house was in the was, ghetto? Our house was in the ghetto. That had stayed in the ghetto. So people came, what could they carry? Nothing. We didn't, they didn't let, didn't let him, let him even touch for front of it. It is very forgettable. I pack it up, this is this. They didn't let him lose. They run him out like, 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 like this. But thieves. The Poles, but living in this place, when they get the world's woes, got three days to get out. Not one day. So those which came in, what mostly lay almost on the street, or or, or they had families that the, the packed in these streets. If not, they, they went into the packed them in 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 the in the, in the Bismedrish, packed them in the shul where, where where it was a place. The poles got out. The ghetto was closed. It wasn't any virus or this, but patrols. Plenty of them from the Ukrainians, from the Lithuanians. The Polish police, Polish police had so for this. The mostly the, the, the Polish police they sent somewhere away and they brought in from the other side, Lithuanians, but mostly was Lithuanians and Shweta was uh, even Ukrainians in the black black uniforms what they wear. Polish and they're afraid maybe they know the people so they shouldn't do this, you know what I mean? It's 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 Everything was so figured out as impossible to describe. So in that in that situation, Rabbi Yitzhak, how did you um, observe the mitzvahs of Shabbos? Of, I mean, they closed the Beis Midrash, they, they, no. they closed the yeshivas. How, how did you... How, the the yeshiva, forget about. Bismedrash was closed. The yeshiva was in the Rebbe's Bismedrash. We don't forget Rebbe's Bismedrash. The yeshiva was closed. The, 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 this is, uh, we didn't, even the, the kids afraid to let out this is. But no, she wasn't allowed to c combine Armenian in, 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 in any place. So what is in each house was in Poland, the houses were mostly built like a box and the yard was open. So all the, the, the tenants, those which were, were regis, may, may come together in one room and they'd be done. This was the Balkans, this was Shabbos, forget about it, we, we couldn't, couldn't, in Kachtibuk, it didn't exist anymore in Kachtibuk. Nothing exists anymore. So, so the, that's what we did. And I remember the first, the first Yom Kippur. They came in, was only two weeks before Rosh Hashunah. Rosh still, we didn't expect so much, you know, the, 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 the terror this is. So we, we down in, 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 in my grandfather's house was the biggest the, a room there. It was one big room what, what, before the world was even weddings there. So they, there we down. All this and came from the other two houses, came also the people had, which, which, which jumped over the, 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 the plot, which was, we came over. Because in the, in the street we weren't allowed to go. They get them. So Yom Kippur, my father had a nomad. We didn't expect this. Is, and in the middle, a Nidra came in two murderers, two Germans, and started hitting. Without any questions, start hitting with, 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 with whatever sticks, whatever they had. The people from the window jumped out. And my father was so beaten up, he was laying a few, a few weeks after he was laying with it. And they left. After that, when we don't, was already the girls or the women was already staying at the tower and watching or, or a German doesn't come. This was, the, it, 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 we learned it the hard way. We didn't expect it in the beginning. What kind of guidance did you have from 
religious leaders, Rabunim, the Poskim, that well, how did they interpret what was going on? What was the was there guidance of some sort? What we go again was only the Yudnerat. Mm -hmm. The rest was almost like they say paralyzed. Mamish paralyzed. When they came when they came in, mostly the doctors, engineers, the they highly educated, they took out and in, 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 took him away. The rabbis, our rabbi was hidden about in the beginning, the, 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 the roof in the, in the city. Because Stiebuch didn't have any rabbis, like here. You know, to me it was a gabai and a Stiebuch, that's what it is. The gabai was the boss from the, from the Stiebuch. No, no roof. Uh, one roof was in the city. And he was a member from, from the, the, the Redomsky dynasty. So he was hidden already. Eventually, he he went out in Treblinka. But 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 the, the, the evacuation. But but it it, it 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 was everything but paralyzed. Period. The the the, the old, it's they gave in the beginning they gave a, a certain amount of food allowed to bring in, but the the police the poles smuggled them also. For money, the Poles smuggled in from the villages in the beginning. It, it was, in the beginning it was still like this, a little bit was easier, but what, it, it got harder from, from, from year to year, it got harder. Can you um, just give me a sense of, of the times? Um, that, was there a general sense in the ghetto that this too would pass? We uh, hope. That's only hope we hope how, how we did didn't. Your, how did your faith take you through this? Explain that to me. This sounds no, like a remarkable. No, the faith, the faith, we didn't lose the faith. We didn't lose the faith. Jew, Jews is one thing. We cannot lose the faith. We have to believe that one is is, is going to help. But it was so terrible, so scary. Tell me the period leading up to the deportations, when you realized that it wasn't going to get better. We heard already, we heard already months before, we heard already the, the liquidating for the cities down the line. You see, Poland has four this dead camps. Four dead camps has Poland. Auschwitz, Majdanek, Sobibor, Treblinka, and, and no five, and, 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 and near Lodge, near Lodge, Hanlo. And all five were set up. Everything was figured out by them, like, like an engineer picked out those. Every uh, that camp was set up in a certain section to care on this section from Poland. This section from Poland has this dead camp. Do you know what I mean? Warsaw has Treblinka. Auschwitz has, Auschwitz was the biggest. Auschwitz has three. It has the concentration camp, and it got the dead camp, and it got the, the labor camp. Then it was, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's, some people was a different ones. Because it's, 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 it's impossible to describe it. And, and your family, when the deportations began. Can you explain to me how did that occur in terms of the breakup of the family? So we started, we, we started already to build whoever how, how was a house, a house had the chance to it because tenants of this is, has to build bunkers to hide because they lied to us from the latest, then the last minute they said they're going to evacuate the Jews to the Russian occupied places and there they're going to rebuild the cities, the women are going to take care of the kids, they're going to build schools. Who in the world, the world could they uh, uh, enter your mind that say taking tens of thousands of people and put them in gas chambers, and burn them in the crematoriums? Who uh, uh, couldn't even think about something like this? So we thought that they're going to I got uh, hiding in a bunker, it's going to go over a, a, a couple of weeks, we're going to go out back to the ghetto, and that's it. 
So in our house, we also, they all start building curtains to uh, a bunker and the attic. It was, it, they built a false wall. It, it was really hard to detect this. But they were running around after it, when, after it, when they liquidated the ghetto, they were running around with, uh, uh, with uh, it, 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 dogs. They were running around in, in, in the, 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 the Poles knew more than the Germans. With the help from Poland, with, 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 with Ukrainians, they almost found, found all the bunkers. I asked uh, all the all the bunk that I bunk here on top. It was a false wall put apart away in for the air to have. We took in one chimney because of the long houses. One chimney and we knocked out a part in the chimney and the air came from the from the top. And they got that bottles with water bottles with with with, with anything food what they can bring together and put it in there bedding. In other words, it went in there some 20, I don't know, 25, 28 people, and the, the, the family which lived around us, and some from the tenants also, because, and, and that's what I mean, this was this. I worked in a place which was called Znamerovsky Startup. Radomsk was also name known for another thing, what I mentioned in the beginning, carpentry. Almost every three, four houses was a little shop from, from carpenters. They just shipped it out all over. They, they made good, it, 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 it's a whole, whole, this it, is, I mean, the it, 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 whole for, 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 so, so it's, for 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 what what they need for the benches in 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 in, in mm. this for for what the house needs that is is they made at some shops would make only only closets different ones different ones but but it was is so the tartak what it is is supplied the road stuff for the carpenters there they bring big 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 trees, and they cleaned them, and they cut them, and they, 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 the carpenters came in, they ordered this, they need these boards, these boards, these uh, thin boards, that harbor boards, you know what I mean? That, that's, mm -hmm. So the Germans took over those, but they didn't need it for that, for the, for the carpenter. But they needed, we built heavy, sturdy wagons for the Russian front. From night from forty, they prepared already the, 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 the attack on the Russian, because they knew. And in, in, in when it comes to winter in the Russia, the trucks, the tanks are not going to move. So they had to have wagons, and they brought in Belgian Belgian horses. If you saw a, a Belgian horse was twice the size from a, from a, a normal horse. The, these horses can pull tons. And the, the events what we built was also steady, steady events with. And this always was shipped away to the Russian front. So the, rumor, the, the rumors were that this group, 350 people, was left. Because they need us. And nothing took, they did this. They didn't care. Destroying the Jews was, was more important than, 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 than the watch for their own soldiers. What they needed us, they called out a Friday morning on the 9th of, of October, 1942, a Friday, everyone has to be on the football place. Whoever is going to stop in the house, be shot, and they shot a few hundred. Called, sold people, called people, which couldn't move so fast. They came in, shot them, that. And the rest, and you want to take a packet lot, which can schlep them here. With one package, they're allowed to take you. We went also out there. But then came the company came in from the Chardonnay with a list and gave it to the Jewish, the chief of the Jewish police, and he called out our names. And we was put away 
like the rumor was that she's going to leave. They put away in the site, all of us. And they put us in, in the next building, which was a big house, a big uh, factory from, from furniture, with the name from two Jews, Buchmann and, and Shmulevich. They, 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 they put us in there, and we could see from the, from the, from the uh, stop on top, and we could look under this, what's happening uh, there, there. But uh, by the evening, around 5, 6 o'clock, they start moving five to 500 groups, 500 people in a group. From both sides, the Ukrainian with the Lithuanian with the nurses, moved them down to the, 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 the tracks, to the, the stage, says, uh, 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 freight train, and packed in 100, more than 100 in each freight train. A, a half, about 15 minutes later, went the, the next 500. So it, it is, but it was already, in that time, was already about 18,000 Jews in, in, in Erdomsk. Because they been uh, two weeks before they started already cleaning out from all the villages around the city and throwing them in into the ghetto. They showed them all on, on one place. Everything worked with a plan. Everything worked with a plan. So that they couldn't the train could only take a half. So the other half they packed in in the shir in the Bedrushim in Karandet Arambeti to Ukrainians with the Lithuanians watching Karandes. The train left. They stayed a whole night from Shabbos Friday night a whole night. The train left not before Saturday morning. The train left and 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 came back Sunday night. Came back the train. The, the, the floor from the train was with color. I don't know how color is, is, is called in English. The white duster which mm. was sticking to this. Is, and in Monday morning they start packing in the rest, the other half. So in this liquidation of the ghetto, was this the last time you saw your family? What, what? Was this was the last time you saw your family in this liquidation? Yeah, that was it. So the, the Thursday evening, but we had no already that tomorrow morning we had to leave out. So they left in the vow. They left. I was ho hoping to do it also because I was home. A hole to push through. And each one crept in. And they left me the, 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 the chigli, which is, is the, this. Bricks. Of Yiddish. Uh, bricks. Yeah. Bricks. They left me with mortar with this and I and, and I they showed me what to do and I closed up this to the uh, hole this hole. We smeared it up with the whole wall was smeared up with, with dirt and it, it looked like one piece. But before my father went in the list. Before he went in, this is important to tell you. He took me around and squeezed me to his chest. He says, my dear son, listen to me. You did me kind the mitzvah from Kibbit Avuem, from respecting your father and mother. Not 100%, but 1000%. Because I covered him, he was, I, I can't tell you, in that time he didn't have the beard already, because they caught him a few months ago, and, and, and when he went to, to, for the soup to take, I was by the work, and, and, and they sent him away to, to, to Gijel, to, to, I'm going back to the, 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 it, it's a, a seven, 11 kilometers from the Finland Road with the, the, the river went in and there they have to clean the river and they were staying in the water completely when he came back two days before the limitation for the liquidation the Wednesday they bring, brought it back to the, the, this, to, the, to the ghetto they liquidated this and, and the, feet, the feet were swung I didn't, almost didn't recognize him. So, but, but, but before I took care, I was going to work sometimes twice in, the, in two shifts and, and, he, and I didn't let him go. He was hiding in the house. So that's what they told me. You did the kind of mitzvah keep it up a thousand percent, not hundred. And I'm sure, he says, 
Whenever I remember this, it, it, it adapted this when I was very young. I'm sure that the Rebun Shlodim is going to make him the promise what he gives for this mitzvah. We have to be kabbat yasavichu v'samechu, one from the Ten Commandments. Leman yarichin yamechu, that your, your, yeah, the, your years should live long. And then he went in, and I covered up, and Friday he went out to the place. And that's what, and I was left. Then, one the Jewish policeman was also know about this bunker. No more. It, me, Tommy happened something to me that Jewish policemen should know. To let them know when they can go out. They, they told them, they, uh, three weeks they could last there. So they, they, they got out. They had to know when they got out. They didn't, they didn't need us for work. They need us to clean out the ghetto. That's what they used us in groups. This street, this group, this street, this group, and I tried, I, I intervened with the Jewish police because it was the, the Ukrainians with the Jewish police watching us. Let me into a group in, near our house. I couldn't get in. Two weeks later, I got in to the next house from, from, from us, by the group working. Then I came in. The have the have which, which, which was about 50 people, they covered me, and I slipped, there was, I knew every hole there where it was, and it ran and down. When I ran out to the house, it was in the second floor, floor already this is. When I ran down to the stairs, uh-oh, I saw it's no good. Pieces of, <laughs> Including cap, everything was already laying. to woven, to woven. They know thrown down. This is you could see that this is when I came up there, the wall was broken. The wall was broken open. No one is there. Normally, when we came back from, from work after night, in the night, we heard which bunker was during the day. Or the last night, they, they, they discovered, and here I said, we hid. I hid. I heard nothing. When did this happen? The same night, came in a police. A police. police we had. Yes, they, 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 it's a watch out there in the building where we were staying. And he called out my name. And I came down. He gave me a, a little paper written with my mother's sister, Rivka. It's what he saw the picture which in the, as a tailor, which was this. Says, and she says, they discovered us. We don't know how, ma, how. And they brought us, didn't let us take anything. They keeping us in the jail in the Redomsk. And they say that they're going to ship us out to Chesterhova. This was 40 kilometers away. There was the, 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 the those people much sent, Chesterhova was already liquidated four weeks before. You keep it, they started there. Baras they started nine days after Sukis. They went the whole line, one city after the other. And at the, the, and on the end, if it's possible, if you can send some food in Inns, they paid the policeman. I had plenty of money. I found money in the, in the, in the rooms. I found food enough. So the, the, the other guys helped me. We packed, packed our box and we packed up with, with food, packed up whatever I could. And I gave him 500 slotters. The, the policeman, I had them, are you going to take me a package in? He says, yeah. I paid him. He came the next day. Next, uh, when, he, the, 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 when he has on, 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 duty, on duty, he came and I gave him the package, gave him the $500. I don't know until this day. Or he delivered this or he didn't deliver this. I don't know. I hope he delivered this, but when I ask him, or, or I can give him more packages to take him in, he didn't want to take any more. 
maybe this package he did deliver. But three days later, they were shipped away to Chestnut like that it, she was wrote. That's it. What did they do in Chestnut They gathered from the people which he found in the bunkers. Five, six thousand people, but they gathered down and they sent them away. It was two rumors. One was because our line went everything to Treblinka. This is our line, the section which we which is from our was the, 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 the whole length. And, and, and if Treblinka was overfilled, they couldn't t take it. It's, so the Eichmann, this was his job. So we sent a train to the next, to Maidanek. So the rumors was at this, this trans transport from Chenstrov went, one rumor was it was to Treblinka, one rumor was it was to, 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 to Maidanek, to near Lublin. Until days, until this day, I don't know when they died, where they died, I don't know. After the war, I made the, the new chat team keeper, and that's what I'm keeping it. Thank you. We are going to stop now for a little bit. Uh, thank you so much. We'll continue. Okay. Go take a bite.